Ray, some very intelligent scientists have now begun speculating that maybe we're living in a simulation. Is there any coherence to this? Well, first of all, it's not, it's not clear there's much difference between simulation and reality. Uh, sometimes I talk about we'll be able to simulate human intelligence and then some philosophers come and say, well, that's a simulation and that's not the real thing. Mm -hmm. And if you simulate something as precise as the original thing, I don't think actually there is a difference. Uh, this universe could have been created by some super intelligence in another universe. So, so maybe we're, the whole, our whole universe is a junior high school science experiment of some super intelligent junior high school student in another universe, and maybe she won't get such a good grade given the way things are going. But, <laughs> but still, it's a real universe, and it follows certain laws as best we can tell, and maybe that junior high school student intervenes sometimes. You know, if we actually were able to contemplate that intelligence, that junior high school student, it would seem like a god from any perspective that, you know, the religious texts talk about. But that's a plausible scenario, because we will get to a point where our civilization will be sublimely intelligent, and we may actually be able to create another universe, because we'll have enough command of, of physical interactions. Another possibility is that our, our universe actually runs on a computer because people have examined physical laws as a set of computational processes. And it's, it's really quite plausible to say our, our universe is a computer. We have this idea, at least in the Western philosophies, that what, what really is true of the universe, that fundamentally it's a bunch of stuff. It's a bunch of particles and energy and it's real physical stuff. And the stuff can maybe represent information, but basically it's stuff. Well, maybe fundamentally it's not stuff, it's fundamentally information. And what we call stuff, like particles and electrons and protons, these are just manifestations of, of information structures. And the most fundamental aspect of the universe is information. Well, that information is, is constantly changing, it's being manipulated, it's running on some computational substrate. That would mean the universe is a computer. If I think about, well, what am I? I'm really an information structure. I'm a pattern of information. If you say, no, Ray, you're this, these atoms and molecules that make you up. Well, that's not true. We know that the cells, depending on what cell it is, it turns over in five days, two weeks. Uh, the neurons persist as cells, but the parts of the neurons t change over very quickly. I'm completely different stuff, particles, molecules, than I was just a short time ago. But I'm not completely different information. Yes, I've changed somewhat, but there's a real continuity. Most of the patterns are the same. And so fundamentally, what Ray Kurzweil is, 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 is information. It's a pattern of information. So I, I'm a patternist. I think patterns, which means information, uh, is the fundamental reality.